Guys, so I just finished watching Six Toplets, yeah? On Netflix. It's not the kind of film I usually would watch and all that. Like, I'm not really into, like, the Wayans Brothers kind of films. You know, like, they're white chicks and all them kind of films that they make. I'm not really into it, but I thought, let me try this. It just, every time I turn on Netflix, because the new film on Netflix, you see it first thing, in it. Like, and I thought to myself, I'm going to start doing, like, new film reviews on Netflix. So let me, let me try this one, in it. Do you know what? It's a dumb film. <laughs> it's actually dumb. It's dumb. It is so dumb. It's entertaining, but <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, the film, I'm telling you. Like, let me tell you how it starts, yeah? Or how the film goes, yeah? So basically, you have Alan, who is Marlon Wayans, yeah? He's, he's the main character, but he also plays his, six other, his five other siblings and his mum in the film as well. So he's playing, like, multiple character, characters, which in itself, genius. You have to applaud him for that. As an actor, to be able to adopt different roles and execute them the way he did, like, I, I, have, to, I have to commend him for that. And one of the characters, actually two of the characters, was, was women as well. Like, that's, that's an excellent talent to have an, as, an, uh, as an actor. So I commend him for that. So the, the basically, the synopsis of the film, basically, um, you got Alan, who is... I would say he's mainly, he's the most normal one out of all the siblings, yeah? You meet him in the beginning, he's like a normal guy, and his wife's pregnant, they're about to have a baby. They go to the hospital, um, and the doctor's about, asked about the, the, the wife's medical records, and she's got all her medical records, but the husband doesn't have any medical records. And he's like, oh, but you know, I was adopted, I never had my family and all that. He's probably raised by goats and shit, you know them ones there? No, no I'm joking, but so... He went on this mad search, yeah, to go and look for his family, like, and he found his first brother, um, what's his name, Russell, Russell's character, yeah, is fucking stupid, Russell is dumb as fuck, yeah, like, even the way he talks, yeah, he's like, oh, you're my brother, <laughs> Russell's the first brother he found, yeah, like, but Russell looks like one of them characters where, like, like, maybe, you know one of them kind of guys just in his house all day, blind shot, probably playing computer, probably slapping off his ferrets, wanking all day, like, no hobbies, no girlfriend, spare spots on him and all that. He loves his cereal. He's even got his own name on, his cere on, on the cereal bowl, like, proper, like, total loser. Total mom mommy's boy. You know one of them ones there, like, so that was the first brother that we met, yeah? And then with this brother, Russell, him and Alan, Marlon, yeah, because Marlon is all of them, they went on like a mad, they went on a, a, an adventure to find the rest of the family. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yes. Yeah, so, so after he finds Russell, after he finds Russell, he then, after he finds Russell, they, so him and Russell go and find the rest of their siblings, yeah? So the first sibling they find is a girl. I can't even remember her name now for the life of me. What the girl's character name, obviously it's Marlon Wayne still playing her. And, um, She's in jail. She's mad ratchet. One of these like love and hip hop, um, you know, one of them love and hip hop, um, housewives kind of ratchet, ratchet. Do you know what? See this film, yeah? It plays up to every single black stereotype that there is. It plays up to it. And some people might see that as a negative thing and be all mad all over it. But do you know what? It's funny. It's comedy. When it comes to comedy, people like to get touchy because of the stuff they talk about. But it's comedy. It's not personal. This is what these guys do. Like, it's mad funny. All of the, all of the characters, yeah? Like, they're the typical how the black people are supposed to be, you know? Especially in America. Do you know what I'm saying? So this, this, this sister of, of his that he met in prison, her name would have been Laquisha, Laquanda, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she was the first one he met. And then they went and met the second, well, they didn't meet the second one. We, as an audience, met the, so you have Marlon, who's the normal one. you got Russell. Now we've got this ratchet girl. And there's a the fourth one as a pimp. <laughs> He's my second favorite character, yeah? The pimp. He's my second favorite. I actually really, really like him. His character, yeah, reminds me of, um, if you ever seen any of their films, yeah, there's a film from back in the days called, um, it, it, it's a, it's a mock-up of um, um, Boys in the Hood and um, Menace, Menace to Society. It's called Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Juice in the Hood. That pimp character 
Reminds me of Old Dog. Or Lope Dog, whatever it's called in the film. It reminds me of him so bad. Like, I was just in tears watching him, yeah? But my favourite character, yeah? <laughs> Every time I talk big about this guy, yeah, he makes me laugh. My favourite character, yeah? What's his name? Was it Ethan? I think it's Ethan. This is the brother that was in the hospital. He's dying. He's dying, literally. The first introduction you get to him, yeah? <laughs> Do you know what, yeah? Out of the whole film, this was my favourite part. I fucking laughed. I laughed so much, yeah? Like, I was in tears. I was crying. I had to phone a friend. Like, my comedy, my humour, is everyone's got different types of humour. But there was this one scene, yeah, where the brother, the one that's in the hospital bed, where he was introduced to us as an audience, it was fucking funny as hell to me. To me. Like, <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, huh? Uh, ah. for a guy to dip it. <laughs> and Andrew, completely inappropriate. Just because he looks like a little voodoo guy, I don't mean you to make fun of him. But you do give me the heat. Ah. She said it looks like a voodoo doll. <laughs> you know, the threatening to amputate. Oh shit! <laughs> In the, in the hospital bed, yeah, the brother in the hospital bed said, oh, I, I had, I had, I had three open heart surgeries before I was 11. I had, um, I had seven foot of intestine taken out before I was 21. I got both of my knees replaced. I said, doc, I said, I said, doc, what's that going to do to my NBA career? <laughs> You know what, yeah? I'm sorry, you don't mind not find this funny, yeah? You had to see it. You have to see that scene, yeah? The guy's like three foot tall. He's asking a doctor about his a NBA career. Just his whole hair and how small he is, like a baby. Oh, <laughs> that's his name. His name's Baby Pete. His name's, that's my favorite brother of all the characters, yeah? Just because he was sick, he just fucked. <laughs> he was fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. He actually had the shortest scene out of all the characters, but his scene in the hospital had me in the most tears. And then there's the other brother, who's Jasper. His name's Jasper. He's like a baddie. Like, his character's weird. He's like black and ginger and shit. Like, his character's weird and it's just a bit, it moves a bit funny. But yeah, long story short, they all found each other. They found their mom. Everyone was happy at the end. And yeah. The end. The end, really. To be honest, see the film, yeah? It's not like a film, like, you take your time out of your day to go and watch. It's a film where, like, you know when you got just a spare hour and a half? If you ever have a spare hour and a half, or when you ain't got much to do. Like, you might even be tidy in the house and just put it on and catch catch a few jokes and shit. But, yeah, it's an all right film. I'll give it, if I had to give it a rating, I'll give it, like, a four, five out of a ten. Like, but... My humor's stupid, isn't it? Like, I've seen some people saying, oh, I wouldn't even give this a 1 out of a 10. Like, don't, listen, see when it comes to films, yeah? I don't even listen to what other people say because other people got different judgments and shit, yeah? You need to go and see it for yourself. If you're into, I will, I'm never, I'm not into the Wayans Brothers kind of humor, but there were certain parts in this that I found really, really funny. It's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not bad. Like, their, their genre of comedy is very, very, like, specific. Like, you have to like that kind of thing. It's not like a, what's, what do you call it? It's not like a kind of comedy, like, everyone is going to laugh at. You have to kind of like that sort of thing. So if you see, like, White Chicks, Norbit, um, Naughty Professor, and all, it's that kind of, like, but then, to be honest, it's a disrespect to Norbit and um, Naughty Professor and that, because that was, they're a lot, lot more funnier than this. But it's still, I have to commend him for the work he's done. It's good work, good work, it's a decent watch. Like, I feel like the, the characters could have been developed a bit better. I feel like they were all very rushed and introduced to us very quickly. And then, like, it was, like, the, 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 see, the, the, the film seemed like all over the place as well. Like, it wasn't very, it wasn't executed to the, to the, to the best, in my opinion. But I'm not a film, I'm not a film expert. I'm just, Telling you what I see from uh, the characters wasn't well developed. Um, neither was the storyline. 
actually properly developed. They didn't take time to do certain scenes and they, they created certain scenes that was meant to be comedic, but I'm very funny, but I just don't think they delivered and executed in what they wanted. But that's just my opinion. Anyone who's seen it, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. It's your boy Fred, you know how we do.